Good morning. I found the sliver. I found it. I found it. It's so cold. Oh my gosh. 37 degrees here at Mount Tabor Golf Course. I'm a little bit off the course right now, but I didn't want to miss the sliver. It's really dreary looking out. Look at it. It's like super yuck. <laughs> but we've got a little sliver, so I'm holding on to the sliver. I'm sorry if it's vibrating a little bit, but my headlights are kind of obtrusive, so I apologize. But good morning, everyone. This is Alicia Baza. I am happy to be here this morning to find just a little baby bit of the sun because the sun's been really elusive lately and I'm happy to find a little sliver. You know, sometimes you gotta, you gotta grab the sliver when you can. Sometimes life is a little cloudy and we can't find the sunny spots, but sometimes you gotta go find them. It takes a little effort sometimes for you to find the sliver. Sometimes you feel like you're in a junk pile and you can't really find the slivers. But I found the sliver this morning, and I'm here, and I'm happy that you're here with me. Good morning, Bob Sanders. How are you? Or Saunders 8. How are you this morning? Thank you for joining me. I appreciate you, and I appreciate you, my replay viewers, my faithful few who come, and the people who are supposed to be here. <laughs> really glad to be here, and really glad that you're here with me. So, I am checking out the sliver, and I was just saying that the sliver is sometimes hard to find. But when I saw the sliver, I thought, hmm. I'm going to come to the sun anyway, so I'm glad that you're here with me. I'm sitting in my car, and we're going to do a little meditation. I'm up on a hill, just so I can have a good vantage point of the thank you for the heart. I appreciate that. <laughs> One, yay! Um, you have to find the good in sometimes the not so great situation, so I'm happy to be here. So I am working currently on a meditation CD. I am incorporating many different modalities into my meditation CD, which I'm not going to go crazy explaining. Um, I will be on Dr. Vibe soon. I haven't set a date yet, but probably closer to the, to the end, to the completion of my CD, I'll probably have the interview when it's almost out. Maybe I'll do a preview and then I'll do one after the launch if Dr. Vibe is kind enough to allow me to come on. If you've ever never heard Dr. Vibe, he's a, uh, I believe he's Canadian. He's a really great guy. I met him on Blab when it was around, and I know there's, there are new ones out these days. Um, I haven't taken the time to look into them yet, but I will. If you saw my hashtag, I'm going to be speaking at CreatorCon.live, and I'm very, very excited. So you can find that at CreatorCon, start for convention, CreatorCon.live. So that's CreatorCon.live, and I will be speaking there at the end of April in Jersey City, right near the Statue of Liberty. It's going to be so much fun. So... Anyway, for this morning's meditation, um, I was practicing my um, mantra from the Hawaiian Ho'oponopono, and I am going to, I think I'm going to pick the I love you mantra, which is beautiful, and especially when it's sung in the mausoleum, it's absolutely stunning. And that's the one that goes, um, Aloha Yahweh. Aloha Yahweh, 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 Aloha Yahweh. Aloha Yahweh, Aloha Yahweh, Aloha Yahweh, Aloha Yahweh, Aloha Yahweh, Mahalo, Mahalo. Now that is I love you and thank you. And what the beautiful thing about saying that in the morning is it puts you in a state of gratitude which is an excellent place to receive and it also is beautiful to sing at the sun because as the sun's coming up 
you're grateful that, that it's rising, grateful for another day, and you're telling the sun, I love you, which is pretty much in essence telling yourself that you love yourself. So um, it's a, definitely a great place to be. Love is always the answer to any kind of situation. And that's why it is so important for us to be in that position of gratitude. So I find life a lot easier to live like that. And I am happier because of it. So that's why I sing the Aloha Yahweh, which is I love you in Hawaiian. And mahalo is thank you. And then there's another phrase that's um, sorry, please forgive me, which is i kali, let's see, i kalamai au, i kalamai au. That's I'm sorry, please forgive me. Or just plain old, I'm sorry. They don't really say it all at once. They kind of break it up. So it's i kalamai au. And that's a beautiful phrase too. So those are the ho'oponopono phrases which allows a person to cleanse themselves from anything in their past or present that may hinder them from being inspired to greatness and the inspiration that your life has called you to do and your destiny is bringing to you. And sometimes when we are not clean, in other words, like if you have, if you have the windshield wipers, they will let you see better. So if your windshield's dirty, you need to clean them and you turn on your windshield wiper. And Ho'oponopono is kind of like cleaning the windshield of life. <laughs> Good morning. Thank you for joining us here at the meditation. We were just doing a quick explanation of Ho'oponopono and how it is like a windshield wiper cleaning your windshield when it's dirty. <laughs> so we're watching the sunrise right here in Mount Tabor, which is a part of New Jersey. It's about 30 minutes outside of New York City. And um, it is a gorgeous little town. If you've never heard of Mount Tabor, New Jersey, you definitely should, definitely should look it up, YouTube it. There's a great little video on our town and it's just, it's a gem of a place, truly. So we're sitting on the edge of the golf course and doing a little baby bit of meditation. And then we're gonna get along with our day. So I'm hoping to see the sunrise this morning. I think this is probably the best vantage spot for us to be watching it from, even though we have that truck down there. It's all right, a little distracting, but um, that's on the edge of my neighbor's property. So I hope that you guys are having a great day today, and I am anxious to see the sun so I can get back home and get ready for my day. Got to go into work today, and. Be at the cemetery. Oh, again today. Um, I don't know what I'm doing today. I think I might have an appointment or two. Definitely have a crazy busy day tomorrow. Crazy busy day tomorrow. So it's going to be jam packed. So I'm going to see if I could put some work into my meditation CD this morning um, before I go into work. I don't think I'm going to be going into work until 11. So I'm going to go over my hours. Good morning. How are you? Thank you so much for joining. How are you? I hope that you are enjoying the sunrise with me. So let's do a couple more uh, meditation mantras. So I was telling everybody before about the Ho'oponopono mantra, which is, I'm sorry, please forgive me. I thank you and I love you, which is like cleaning the muck out of your life. So just like when you're sitting in the car and you've got junk all over your windshield wipers. Good morning. Nail says hi. Hi! It's Nail, right? Nial, 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 Nial. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, so, so I was talking about how Ho'oponopono is like when your windshield wiper is dirty and you do this. Use your windshield wipers. It's kind of like cleaning, cleaning the windshield wiper of life. So the four phrases are good morning. The four phrases are, I'm sorry, please forgive me, I thank you, and I love you. And this morning I found this little sliver, marks on the house too, yes. It cleans, it cleans. Good morning and thank you for the hearts, I appreciate you. You guys are great, thank you for joining me. Oh my gosh, that sunrise is looking so pretty. It's like turning almost on fire. Let's see if we could, I think, I think I'm brave enough to open the window and look outside, let's see. Oh yeah, much prettier. Look at that, I can say hi. That's pretty. Let's see if we can kind of open that one. 
it's 37 degrees here in, in New Jersey. It's kind of chilly. There we go, a little bit, a little bit better view. That's pretty. So, um, yeah. I would drive a little closer, but the problem is it's six degrees here. All right, I won't complain. It's 37, 37 here. It's really not that cold, but sometimes I get cold wimpy. Well, there goes one of the neighbors off to work. So anyway, we were talking, we were singing before. We were doing the Ekalamayau, which is, I'm sorry, please forgive me, in Hawaiian. So I have, I'm working on a CD. Let's see if you see any better or worse. Yeah, it's, it's totally freezing. So, um, it's not bad here. Oh my gosh, look how pretty. That is so gorgeous. I think i got to call the hubs. Hopefully the hubs will come down. But anyway, that is so, so pretty. All right, guys, I'm going to scoot because I need to call my husband. This is too pretty of a sky not to call him. But have a great day. Bye.